Hello everyone, Jeff here and welcome back to Brotato. Today we're playing some more GMO with this crazy double random mod character. So what we're gonna have to do here, um, because of the way it works, you don't get to see the mods the second time. So I'm gonna have to write down what our like additional mods are here and keep it on a notepad. So I'm gonna be doing that real quick right now. Okay, wow, that's gonna be some stuff. It's, um, well, we'll worry about that when we get to the first wave. Oh, we start with an SMG. That's nice. We also have the GMO debuff because that's what we play with. I'm going to turn on. Oh, mm, I'm going to leave endless off for now. We'll see. All right. Can we see everything here? No, not from this screen. All right. So we just have to survive the first wave, which is normally going to be plenty easy. And then I will go over all of the um, modifiers of this character which we'll see <laughs> some interesting stuff here a baby elephant well i wish i knew i'm gonna it's for nine i think i'm gonna take it and for this we kind of want harvesting all right so here's what we have going on seven percent chance to uh pick up double materials plus 15 range damage Minus 11 armor. Minus 20% piercing damage. It's not great. Um, HP regen is doubled. Melee mods are increased by 44%. And we lose 15% speed anytime we take damage to the end of the wave. Uh, you can't see those last three, but trust me, they're there. So. We want a melee weapon. Kind of. We want to start with range. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy this revolver. Lock this tree. I'm going to buy another revolver. Yeah. We're going to want to be melee. Because it's going to be better. Very quick. 44% is an absurd number. Absurd. But we got to fix our armor. And we also got to try not to get damaged. Because... Losing 15% speed on getting touched uh, is extremely dangerous later on. It also means that we are not allowed to take a bloody hand. Uh, Jeff's sunglasses. Uh, Jeff being me. I um, wish I had those sunglasses by me. I, I don't, though. And we can't take blood donation. All right, so let's go and take melee damage. That's pretty good. I think we're safe to just keep with revolvers and we'll transition later on. So 7% chance for double materials, as far as I'm concerned, is just like 7% more materials. Um, if there's different math to that, that's that that is not the case. Please let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that's just how it works, right? Not, you know, not strictly 7%, but it's approximately 7% more materials. Like if you get enough uh, enough um, actual materials tested. Uh, sample size, the word I'm looking for, the biggest, biggest sample size. Um, let's just take percent damage here. All right, one in a tree for sure. Get the revolver, get this alien tongue so we have it. I'm making an effort to pick up an alien tongue early on. Um, yeah, really, armors are only real issue right here. It's fine. We can just go in with this. Um, revolvers are really strong. The minus eleven armor is real scary, though. It's a lot a lot of negative armor and the build wants us to be melee but also wants us to not get hit because getting hit is bad i do wonder about this mod if these random stats are are they random or are they just different modifiers because 44 percent increased melee damage mods is a very very odd stat um i'm gonna take two armor and max hp uh, coupon, revolver, bunny. It seems pretty easy to me. Roll one more time. 
could take a thief's dagger, but we have no crit. It's also slow. Wait, why is it slow? Did I miss an attack speed thing? Uh oh. Hmm. It does say the cooldown's reduced. I hope I didn't miss something in that early screen. I <laughs> think melee, melee weapons are also slower. That would be. That would be brutal. Well, I guess we're gonna find out. I'm gonna look at the next melee weapon we see. I mean, we could just go range damage. Starting with 15 is a. It's pretty good. I mean, we're gonna have to abandon one or the other, and we do already have a bunch of revolvers, so. It's good. But then also, piercing's bad. I don't know. It's like figuring out a whole new character. Um. Huh. I'm just gonna take harvesting. It's fine. Um. Torch is also slower. What is the base damage on or what's the base attack speed on Torch? It's not. We don't have much reduced attack speed on melee on melee weapons. That's what I can tell. Um, let's take coffee. Yeah, it's already green now, so I think it was like minus five percent attack speed on melee. That is a ghost flint that is purple. Let's do that. That's that's a strong, strong weapon. We take a hedgehog too. OK. This is not um, usual, but nothing about this mod is really going to be usual, I don't think. Unfortunately, I don't really see the flint getting any kills. <laughs> We do far too much damage with uh, the revolvers at the moment. Shh. I gotta be careful. Um, it'd be real easy for us to die here. And these next coming waves. Oh, we got, we got an attack speed. All right, I can't ask for more. Oh, Tyler, it's early. Um, let's just take percent damage. Spicy sauce, I'm not that interested in. I definitely like Scar. Mmm. There's a Chopper, but Chopper doesn't scale that well. Uh, Spiky Shield's really bad here. Wow. I don't think we want to take another Ghost Flint. That's not really where I want to be. Take a Lumberjack shirt for sure. I think Metal Detector is also probably fine. We have two horde waves. Hmm. So horde waves definitely make uh, revolvers worse and ghost flint better. Makes ethereal weapons in general quite a bit better. Well, at least the melee ones, it doesn't pretty bad for the scepter considering we also have negative piercing damage which is not great not great at all all right that was a pretty good way we got a lot of we got a lot of money there uh seven percent crits too much to pass Ooh, i'm gonna take this melee damage so much. Oh, that's an early rip and tear. Yeah, let's take that and this revolver and this whetstone. I mean, honestly, we could take this ghost scepter too. And lock this, this, and this. This is a really, it's gonna be a really weird build. Um, Ghost Scepter might get us some stuff. I'm not sure. We're 
still very fragile. But I guess... I guess we're really trying not to get hit anyway because of the reduced speed. Because once we get hit once, we're going to start getting hit more. And that's going to be a real problem. Thankfully, we started off with absurd damage and extra income. Ooh. Wow, we were we were a pixel or two away from getting run over there. Another 320 is pretty good. Take range damage. We could put HP regen into positive, which is pretty good. We could take some speed, but I don't think we really need to do that. Let's put HP regen into positive and then take attack speed. And then we're going to do this into this into this into this. Oof, minus 45% damage on laser gun. That's a... That's a lot. Uh, black belt's hard to pass. I think we take goat skull here, too. Oh, no, we just take scar. Take scar, don't really think about it. Um, on wave 9, the bonus XP. So good. It's funny, because, like, the first... I think four or five months I played this game, I undervalued Scar. Now, I can't remember if it got changed that much, but I remember I just kind of skipped over it, but it's actually just absurd. It's very cheap, and if you just pick it up in the first, like, first half of the game, you, you get a couple extra levels, and it's just really, really good. Hopefully we get a little bit of XP, or not XP, uh, attack speed out of this wave. Ah, ha, ha. okay, yeah, that's kind of how I figured it was going to be when we got hit. Oh, and also we're really slow now. Not good. Not good. Hey, okay, we're going to survive, though. Oof. Survive. Take a Wonderbot for sure. Take range. We're low. Probably should take an armor, but maybe reroll for something. Dodge. Okay. Armor, yes. Roll. Schmoop. Mmm. Not really. Uh, also not big. There's a coupon, a broken mouth. I'm not going to take the goat skull. There's a takeout. But enemy speed goes up. Our speed's already low. That doesn't seem great. Wings does seem great. That's, that's, we needed that. Armor still negative seven. Could take sunglasses, but no. Lemonade, and then we can keep going negative with luck. Okay. <laughs> These are weird rotato times we live in. When we've got ghost scepters and revolvers in the same build. Hopefully it can get us some HP though. Like it's really, really counting on it to, you know, give us like one a wave at least. I don't think that's asking for that much from it. Big time, big time dodges. Big time. Oh my gosh. Whew. Okay, now we're slowed. Thanks. Okay, 528 on 10 is great. Let's take three armor. Big big deal. And six melee is a lot because now we're at 30. It's a ghost scepter, but it's bad. Take a scar. It's still early enough. That's probably the last time I'd take one though. I'm gonna skip banner. We're going to take community support and go back to negative armor, but are more negative armor, but heavily increased attack speed. Picket signs a wash here. Ooh, I am. I am feeling skeptical about this wave. OK, we're going to lock this baby beard. We're going to take a metal detector and we're going to try and live through this wave. 
If we live through this wave, I think we're doing pretty good. However, I am not convinced that we will live through this wave. At all. We really need to make sure we don't get hit until very close to the end, because as soon as we start not being able to move, um, we're getting stuck. Oh, that's right. We have a rip and tear. Never mind. We're fine. I forgot. Rip and tear is absurd. And yeah, we got hit once. It's very noticeable. Twice. We're barely moving. Three times. <laughs> now it's like we're playing streamer. Um, yeah, Rip and Tear has saved us here entirely by itself. Okay. Okay, that was pretty good. Oh, a second one? Not bad. Let's take max HP. All right, so we're getting nine stats from that. We get 14. That was pretty big. Baby with the Beard's game changing, though. And then Lifesteal. Um, let's not take Weird Ghost. a revolver I don't think I want that there's a ghost axe <laughs> that's that seems weird okay wheat's pretty good it's like all of the stats that we care about I think I think we're okay here we turn that corner. Baby with the beard is going to do us so much work. We have pretty high base damage on range. We're getting some good stats. We really just need to uh, get some more defenses, really. But also our attack isn't high enough yet for in-game, so there's, <laughs> like, ugh, different levels. The minus 11 armor is kind of brutal. Puts us in a very weird position. Okay, thankfully our economy is just completely busted. 6 to 6. Wisdom? Nah, I don't care uh finn we're definitely taking and we'll take butterfly because we're not doing elemental damage we'll take max hp and i'm gonna take um i'm gonna take armor it's early enough for a bean teacher i think so i think we can do this this and this and we have double community support Mm, alloy is good. We use melee ranged. We have two Tylers for engineering. It's only six dodge is the cost, which kind of sucks, but I think we can survive that. Yeah, this should be okay. We have one extremely strong revolver. We have rip and tear plus baby with a beard. It's kind of a fun combo. Yeah, we're definitely going to want to cap our dodge, though. Unfortunately, our melee weapons are extremely, like, low impact. Just from being common and whatnot. Ow. Ow, it's not the damage, it's the slow. <laughs> Okay, we've been hit twice, now we're extremely slow. I wanna... Okay, did I get him? I don't think I got him. That sucks. Uh, sell the cute monkey. Roll me. <sighs> um... Take two range damage, I guess? I'll take 12% damage, easy. We definitely need percent damage. Okay, let's take the alloy. Let's take this ghost flint. 
Explosion size. We can't take blood donation because we instantly lose. I don't think we're going to take explosion size either just because it only affects rip and tear currently. Uh, Blue revolver. I don't think we're in the business for that right now. Okay. The wave 14. Actually, this is an easy wave. Uh, the the ranged babies are completely nullified by baby with a beard, basically. I mean, they, they exist, but it's not it's not the problem. It normally is 30 seconds in. I feel like her weapon lineup is very underwhelming right now. We've been hit. Uh oh, we've been hit twice. Um, very slow now. Oh no! Oh no! That was close. Give me melee damage, please. Um, take lemonade. Sure. Alien eyes. Yep. 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 Uh, give me mouse as well. A minigun, you say? Yeah, I'll buy that. I'll also maybe take a ghost axe. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Except that we're buying a minigun. I know that's happening. Uh, this is a horde wave, so I need to be a little bit careful. Mm, we did get the Tylers to stick together, which means... If we can get the enemies to just, like, run through the center, they're kind of screwed. <laughs> we don't have a ton of engineering, but it doesn't matter. Hit them with that slow. Oh, that was an important dodge. Not getting hit. Um with 30 seconds left is kind of a big deal when you lose movement speed. The Brotato who took an arrow to the knee. That's going to be the next character in the main game. Arrow to the knee, Tato. Skyrim, Tato. Sk Just call him guard, Tato. I don't know. Um, Do we take armor? Not taking bait. 12% damage, yes. 20% um, attack speed. See, the thing is, we already have... We already have double community support. Let's take four armor. It's, like, game-changing. All right, uh, we can afford this, so we should buy it. Uh, let's do it in this manner, and let's... Just not even worry about the Ghost Scepters, honestly. There's a shredder and a revolver kind of indifferent. Ooh, I do like a leather vest here. That's a big deal. Spear is also not bad. Um, hmm. Let's lock the spear in. All right, so minigun's going to do some work here. Even if the piercing is bad, it doesn't really matter. Unfortunately, we weren't really able to lean into melee like I wanted to in this run, but that's all right. We are, the goal is to make these builds work. Now I wonder, I don't know if we're too strong on this wave. Because I was thinking about when we play this mod, turning the enemy HP and damage up to max. But, I don't know, turning the enemy damage up to max is kind of frustrating. Because you can just instantly die. It's not particularly... It doesn't particularly make for the best gameplay experience. Also, armor's not balanced around it. Now, increasing enemy HP is a little bit different. Um, I guess we'll do a few more runs of this mod and see how it feels. Uh, we'll take the tentacle. 
Probably could have taken that. I was take range damage. We have a. We have a uh, mini gun. Let's make use of it. Oh, a nuke launcher? No, but we have minus. We're not heavy on attack speed. It just doesn't make sense. Poison Sonic's great though. Uh, Broken Mouth is fantastic. This is fine. It's an elite. I think we're gonna have no problem at all with him. We should definitely make sure not to get hit. Because then we would have a problem. We're not doing too much damage. I think most of our damage is on the minigun. We got hit once. Now we're really slow. We are in a terrible spot now. But he's almost dead. And we get a full heal. Oh god. Oh, uh, our movement speed is abysmal. Maybe we could find another minigun. Maybe it's time to sell the scepter. The problem is, like, minigun also doesn't really benefit from community support. So it's kind of a waste going on. Like, a layered waste. Um, I think I'm going to sell Panda. No, it's 12% damage. We can make that up. Mm, okay. A lot of HP. I don't want to take mastery. We are doing minigun things. Minigun did 25,000 damage last wave. Uh, revolver. Yeah, nothing else really came close. I'm not going to take another community support. It's a little redundant at this point. Alien magic is not terrible. No, we just take a leather vest. And then we take missile. I guess. I guess we can take a ghost scepter. I don't know. Seems. It seems medium at best. I'll say that. But it is a damage upgrade. And in theory, it should get us a few HP. And you never know, sometimes, sometimes like three HP is the difference. You know, you get down to three HP, you kill the boss, you get the full heal and then you're good. That's just the way it goes. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think we're all right. I like how to take notes outside of the game. That's where we've gotten to in Brotato Land for crazy mods. It's definitely powerful. Um, a little late for coupon. And harvest. Nah, let's take dodge for sure. Bandana. I don't think we care about bandana. Yeah, our piercing just doesn't do any damage already, so why does it matter? Um, this Ghost Flint did a thousand damage last wave. In fact, both of these did a thousand damage, and everything was done with these, so... Huh. Adrenaline's great. Another spear. No. No, no, no. Oh, we could take a glass cannon. I don't hate that. Oh, putting we go to zero armor. Oh, okay, I do kind of hate that. Alloy, I like. It's extra crit, it's engineering, it's melee and range damage. Uh, apparently all of our damage comes from our range, though. And none of it comes from our melee. I think what's actually happening is the baby beard rip and tear combo is just shredding everything. And revolver and minigun are getting the first kills, so nothing else is really getting a chance to do anything. Uh, Ghost Scepter is just doing what Ghost Scepter does. It's, it's hitting one thing, it's killing it. Giving us a couple HP like I wanted.
so I guess... I guess what we're looking for now is... You know, purple guns of some kind to replace the ethereal weapons. On this last wave. I mean, I don't really know what else we're doing here. 778 in a chest that we can't take. Um, the roll we can do a little bit better. Just take dodge. Dodge is good. Take damage. There's a pistol. A super, super unexciting pistol. Jeez. Um, that's a hard one to swallow. It's gonna be a ranged magazine. A blue revolver? Sure, sign me up. A shuriken with 71% chance to crit. Okay, let's make sure we're selling the right weapon. A lot of in-game shenanigans here. I don't think we really need the brass knuckles. Ooh, pumpkin seems good. Roll for one more item. Oh, good. A absolute last ditch uh, recycling machine. Um, this should win basically based on these two things. I mean, if you look, we've got 13,000 in alien eyes. We've got almost 40k in rip and tear. And we've got... Um, Almost 100k in Baby with a Beard, so. Good things. Okay, we got hit immediately, which is bad um, for our speed. The good news is the enemies are also quite slow. The goal here is to kill Lab. Uh, lab. Uh, Lobster Man first because um, the uh, Cthulhu esque boss is no threat. Once he starts to circle, so you just stay inside. It's really easy. Yeah, um, minigun and revolver, pretty good. Uh, I think these were good changes, though. Um, revolver and Shuriken also perform better than the spear. Uh, moral of the story of today's run. Baby with the beer is absurd. Rip and tear is also very good. Um, don't sleep on Tyler's plus uh, old tooth as well. Or ugly tooth. That's a really good combo. What a crazy character. I wish we could see both. But yeah, this was plus those other things I mentioned. Whew, what a run. We'll try it again tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're interested, follow me over on Twitch where we play games live. Right now we're running through Star Wars. Um, we'll probably play some Rotato and also some Sunhaven, I think is the plan. But yeah, have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.